Hey, welcome back everyone. Toysh is here and I'm back yet again for yet another Designer Con 2023 video. And if you haven't seen my walkthrough with the Mondo dudes, Peter Santa Maria and of course Hector RC, you can go and watch that now. Did a little bit of a live, right? They took us through the entire Mondo booth for Designer Con 23 and it was very exciting. There is a lot to talk about. They're going to be coming out in 2024 guns ablazing. That's for sure. But this is something I really want to touch on. These were not in person. These were all available to look at on the television screens that were in the Mondo booth. Quite a booth, I will say. Lots of things to look at. But there were a few here that I really need to touch on, right? Something that's very near and dear to me, especially with, well, Spider-Man, the animated series. But before we get into that, we have a few things uh, to touch on real fast. So we have Scott Pilgrim takes off. If you haven't seen the new Netflix show, highly recommend it. It's awesome. I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed the books, the video game, the live action movie, and now this new anime cartoon. It was really good. It's a little bit of a, a redo, retelling, reboot. It totally worked for me, so definitely check it out. But Mondo Toys will be doing a super vinyl 15-inch Scott Pilgrim. And right off the bat, you have fist launching action, right? It's a little button on there. will shoot out his fists. And that is very fitting of the idea of Scott Pilgrim, right? With the creator, Brian Lee O'Malley. And everything that he loves with anime and then utilizing all of that for Scott Pilgrim. It's a nice amalgamation. And especially with a super vinyl and the 15-inch with that sort of old school robot masters, all that kind of stuff, that is very awesome. So totally looking forward to this. He comes with some swappable arms so you can hold his guitar, which is another accessory. And then he has his more battle ready head portrait. So lots of mix match pieces that you can cobble together, customize your own version, if you will, of Scott Pilgrim. Again, the fist launching action takes the cake for me, right? 15 inch collectible, 2024, a lot more details coming soon. And just as a heads up throughout this video, this will be coming soon. I have little to no exact details because they ain't providing them just yet. However, I will have some in the new year. So look forward to that. Now this one, Blew me away. I was talking with Hector RC and we were just kind of shooting the breeze and I looked over at the screen and I go, no way. You're doing Ah Real Monsters. Ah Real Monsters is one of those cartoons when they had the Nicktoons, the initial lineup of Doug, Rugrats, Ren and Stimpy. Then they had Rocco's Modern Life. And then when they came out with Ah Real Monsters, that was just one of those really cool shows. Like the designs, as disgusting as they were, that kind of classy Kasupo sort of style of animation, right? Like kind of like Rugrats. It worked so well with the world of our real monsters. And I love the old school figures, which I'll do a video on that coming soon. It will probably just be Crumb, Icus, Oblina, and the Gromble. I have a few of the other ones, but it won't be the complete set. I might wait to get all of them. That would be kind of cool. Make for a video. Let me know if you want to see that, or else I'll just do the initial kind of monsters that we all know. But figure set collectibles, no exact details just yet. Wink, wink, right? Just stay tuned for some news on this. I think it's going to be real exciting. But yeah, Ah Real Monsters comes to Mondo. We'll see what they're going to do, right? It's kind of all up in the air, but... Uh, yeah, I think that that's, that's uh, very cool. I, I've been looking forward to someone retackling that property. That is going to be cool. And I wouldn't mind seeing other companies tackle it as well in action figure form. I think that that would be uh, totally awesome. Just saying. Now, Daria. Daria is coming to Mondo, right? Again, no details, nothing like that. But just as a bit of a tease, if you're a fan of... The Beavis and Butthead spinoff, Daria and all that. Yes, she will be coming to Mondo Toys in 2024, along with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, because as I've said many times over, who's not making TMNT? Although Mondo did Ninja Turtles, very awesome Mirage figures 
way back in the day. So they are returning. We have some new vinyl figures. They did have those on display at Designer Con. You can watch the video. You'll see them all in detail. And Hector and Peter will tell you exactly when you can see those. The exact release dates will vary for the new upcoming vinyl Ninja Turtles, but 2024, you'll definitely see some. And you will see some for Godzilla X Kong, the new empire from the upcoming movie. So they will be doing some soft vinyl collectibles for that film, along with Avatar, The Last Airbender. Now, keep in mind, down below, it does say one six scale figures. So exactly what that will entail, at least we'll see some more of their larger action figure types. But who, how, where, when, and why all remains to be seen, but yes, sometime uh, in the near future. Now, for all you Masters of the Universe fans, come 2024, we will be getting Evil Lynn as a one six scale figure. She's got the cape, she's got the colors, she also comes with Zor, and Zor can sit atop that giant bird pedestal, right? So that's pretty cool. Nice little two pack, basically. And of course, more details coming soon for her. We're also be getting a one six scale vehicle in the form of the Sky Sled. So if you've seen Battle Cat and Panthor, yeah, you kind of know what to expect in terms of the size for a vehicle for one six scale figures, right? It's not going to be small by any means. And we're going to also be getting a deluxe Scare Glow. So he'll come with multiple head portraits and he's got the arms and the chains and the tattered purple cape and he looks great. That's going to be a, a very cool looking Scare Glow. So stay tuned for all of that. Masters of the Universe should be very exciting come 2024 from Mondo Toys. And really, yes, that is that is all exciting. Don't get me wrong. But the real showcase for me was of course seeing the Marvel 90s animated figures. And of course, we're going to be getting Cyclops. Now, he is listed as X-Men 97, right? It is X-Men, the animated series, but they're gonna kinda, and you'll see this kind of across the board for the brand, X-Men, the animated series will kind of morph into X-Men 97, right? It's still the same, but you're gonna get all those newer type characters and whatnot for the upcoming show, right? So it's going to be kind of a, a mashup. So really, it's becoming X-Men the Animated Series, but now it's X-Men 97, if that makes any sense. But Cyclops uh, looks good. So you get multiple head portraits. You get some eye blast lasers, right? You get a, a little bit of a, a swooshing eye blast laser effect for multiple hits to combat all those Sentinels. That's very cool. The figure itself really does look good. You got multiple hands. That's always nice to see. I like that he has more of a classic head portrait as well. And he also comes uh, with a coffee mug, right? A little bit of a steam rising off of that. So all of it uh, looks pretty darn cool, I have to say. I'm very excited to see more X-Men, X-Men 97 for the animated series uh, coming soon. They just showed off Rogue. Again, you can watch my Mondo booth walkthrough. You can check out my Instagram. I will have a another Mondo video where I kind of detail it out and look at everything. But uh, yeah, X-Men, the animated series is uh, definitely taken off from Mondo. And they all just look, just one after another, they look great, I have to say. But again, X-Men, the animated series exciting i'm sure right but for me if you know my channel and you know my ways yeah spider-man the animated series like the epitome of spider-man the animated series is coming to the mondo one six scale figure line and spider-man looks awesome they have captured that look he has that removable Spider-Man mask, right? That's always pretty cool. Then, see, this is what really makes these types of figures. When you go deep cut, like I always use NECA toys as an example when they do their cartoon turtles, right? You have to really go deep and show everybody that you're paying attention, right? So these accessories are just... <laughs> Just tremendous, like you can hear, you can hear my voice, right? This is just amazing. But we'll go left to right here because we got lots of accessories to talk about. So you get multiple hands. You got finger pointing, fist, and you got open wall crawling hands and the thwipping hands. That's very cool. You also get his camera on a web 
when he would, let's say, night of the lizard, web up the camera, take a few shots, that sort of deal. So I totally dig that. Although it does have the flash bulb, it's a little bit of a different camera. It's the camera that he's using the show as Peter Parker and, and whatnot. But you get the signed photo of Mary Jane Watson. I totally dig that. You get the alternate Peter Parker head portraits. Totally dig that. Again, right from the animated series. And you get the hand holding the Green Goblin mask from Enter the Green Goblin, right? Remember him saying, you don't need this mask. It represents the evil, ugly side of your life. You also get, and this is a nice little touch right here. You get the symbiote, Goop, when he gets out of the Hudson River. And of course, the alien costume part one, right? He doesn't know yet, but he has the symbiote across his chest and he calls it rich, thick, and creamy, right? He pulls that off. Then, and this is something, in all of the older Spider-Man figures, minus a few, we'll say the initial first wave, to even now, it's not been done until Mondo has tackled this. It is webbing that, one, you can hold the webbing, and then it's a thwipped out webbing, like a long version, and then a short version, and then you get some webbing itself. This is perfection. This is what I've always wanted to see for Spider-Man the Animated Series. But it doesn't end there, right? You're also getting the symbiote alien black costume Spider-Man. And this, again, is just a lot of fun, right? The black costume with the blue highlights, that, of course, being Spider-Man the Animated Series, right? It's a very specific, we'll kind of sort of say cell shaded look, right? You get Shocker's glove, the busted glove, right? And it looks like you have the hand, the symbiote Spider-Man hand holding the gloves, right? When he tells him the check's in the mail, baby. So you have that. You get some extra punching hands. You get the more wall-crawling symbiote Spider-Man hands. You got the alien costume goo. That kind of looks like the goo when Kirk Connors does the sample and he adds the plasma and you see it kind of attach. That's what it kind of looks like to me. You get the Prometheum X rock that sits on the purple pedestal from the Kingpin's lab, Smythe's lab, right? In the Chrysler building. That's, see, you hear my voice. This is pretty darn cool. You have Peter Parker's angry head portrait, like when he's going up against Flash Thompson, he's freaking out Felicia Hardy. Then you get a little bit more of a symbiote goo. Can't really pinpoint that, but something that can attach to the symbiote Spider-Man. And then much like the red and blue costume, you get the hands with the webbing. So you got the holding webbing hand, then you have the thwipping out from the top of his wrist, top of his hand, right? That's always cool to see. Again, that has not been done. That is so flipping cool, right? And then you get the little webbing, of course. So that looks awesome. So you got Spider-Man, the red and blues, Spider-Man in the symbiote alien costume, and then, of course, you got an alien costume. You're going to eventually get to Venom. And Venom is the reveal from Designer Con because the other two, Spider-Man and uh, actually Cyclops, Spider-Man, and the alien costume, Spider-Man, was at PowerCon. But I couldn't really talk about it just yet. But Venom, this looks awesome. Man, oh, man, you got the reds, you got the blues. That's a good-looking animated series Venom. I cannot wait to see these finalized like in plastic form right so you have the shackled webs when venom is holding spider-man over the daily bugle j jonah jameson's trying to focus in on spider-man's face he's pulled off the mask which you get the pulled off mask so if you have the red and blue spider-man put him in that whole venom web contraption have him holding it yanking off the mask got the peter parker head perfection right now we just uh, uh, you need a messed up hair Peter Parker, right? But you get the unmasked or unvenomized, uh, right? I guess you could say Eddie Brock. However, I will point out one thing. In various looks, whether it's the daylight or nighttime shadowed, Eddie Brock's hair would change, right? Change colors. This looks to be the more nighttime look where he had more of a brighter sort of brownish orange hair. Just something to point out. This looks to be like nighttime, this is how nerdy it gets, right? Then you have the Venom head retracting so you can see Eddie Brock's face, which could be where he's initially telling Spider-Man who he is, right? It's like going forward instead of pulling back. Or when Dr. Kafka asks to see Eddie's face, right? You can have it 
being that. You got fisted hands, the clawed hands, and then you have a little bit of a swip swap action, right? Different eyes, different mouth, the tongues coming out with all the goo. Totally dig that. And they got the tongue right. The tongue kind of goes out in these multiple three prongish. It's very different from like the comics where it's just like kind of one tongue. This one was more like an alien tongue, right? It does change between episodes, we'll just say. But yes, they nailed that. Then, of course, like the alien costume Spider-Man, you have the venom webbing that comes out from the top of his wrist, from the white patches. You have various forms of webbing, and then you got the two webbing effects, right? That's pretty cool. So through and through, all in all, Spider-Man Red and Blues, alien costume Spider-Man, and now Venom. This is shaping up to be uh, quite an expensive year, we'll just say, for 2024 and for Spider-Man animated fans. And to be honest with you, because Spider-Man is holding the Green Goblin's mask in that one instance, I would not be surprised if we did see the Green Goblin. That would be awesome. Could you imagine what Mondo could do for that Norman Osborn slash Harry Osborn Green Goblin? That would be killer. Totally looking forward to anything that they're doing in the future for Spider-Man, the animated series. That's going to be like my number one. Very excited. But we've had X-Men the Animated Series. We got Spider-Man the Animated Series. And to continue on with the Fox Kids countdown from their Batman the Animated Series 1-6 scale line, we are getting Bane. And this is very exciting. He is going to be a larger figure, right? You think about the 1-6 scale Batman. Well, Bane is taller than Batman. So you can imagine how big this figure is going to be. Comes with a ton of stuff, all of it, very much straight from the episode, right? This is very exciting. So you get multiple hands, you got fisted hands and Robin grabby hands and, and Candace grabby hands, right? <laughs> For those of you that know that episode, the big swap out piece is when Batman just sticks the battering into his venom control, right? Remember that? And he just goes roid rage, right? He's gonna explode from the inside out. So you get that huge upper body with the arms. Now I will tell you, I have no confirmation yet if the arms or the elbows will move. We'll just have to wait and see exactly what they will do. But for now, yes, you do get that swap out torso and you do get the batarang which you can swap out on his venom control right where it's just jammed in there and that that is pretty cool see that's part of the fun of these mondo figures they pay attention to what goes on in the episode and you can recreate those moments and bane looks tremendous it looks awesome he's got a little bit of cell shading but overall he looks freaking Rad. And the head portraits look great. He has that initial just grit in his teeth, the Bane look. He's got the more, yeah, he's kind of yelling, he's talking to, let's say, Rupert Thorne, right? That kind of thing. You have the eyeballs popping out, the red lenses, right, that pop out because his eyes are bugging out of his head when he goes full venom roid rage. And then you have the unmasked Bane. Of course, when he pulls his mask off and gives him to Rupert Thorne, you know, saying like, oh, this is the best you can throw at me kind of deal. You have the crumpled up Batarang when he catches it and just, you know, just wrenches it in his hands. And then you have the Bane mask. That's pretty cool. Along with the barbell, right, that he's working out when he's talking to Candace. So, again, they know their stuff. They're paying attention. This is exactly what I want to see. And I know a lot of people, they say, well, why can't they do this in the more 112 scale, right? More six inch, seven inch scale. You can't get this detail. Yes, these are larger action figures. And I know a lot of people like to say, man, they are expensive. They are. But I'm going to tell you, for 2024, with all the clearances, with people picking and choosing now, you're going to see a return to more of a quality over quantity right, in 2024. So really spruce your collection up, make it look good. Don't have 50 million Banes. You get this one and you have it be a centerpiece of your collection. Same with Spider-Man anime. You don't need a thousand Toy Biz figures, and uh, trust me, I'm not one to talk, but these are centerpieces. And that's why they're more expensive. They make less, there's a lot more to them. They have the more spot on, attention to detail. You're paying more for quality 
over mass produced quantity, right? Just keep that in mind. And no, I'm not saying you need these. Do not spend the money. It's not worth it if you don't need it, of course. But for those of you out there that can, and for those of you out there that want these, 2024, yes, will definitely be an expensive year. So that will be my rundown of some of the reveals from DesignerCon 2023 featuring Mondo. And thank you again to everyone at Mondo for taking me through the booth, showing me these rad toys. I had an absolute blast at DesignerCon. It was great to see everybody and all my friends, and it was a great time. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember... I can't get over how great those Spider-Man animated figures look. From the X-Men to Batman. Like, that was just like, yeah, that's awesome. But true Spider-Man the animated figures in 2024. Go figure. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.